Well, when the winter approaches, the routine changes. And it changes with the weather, and hopefully you've listened to the forecast the night before. It could be that before you start milking, you must thaw any of the equipment. It could be the waters for the cattle. It could be that you shovel out the snow, that you have to clean out the lanes so the milkman can come in and pick up your milk. We have to take care of him as well. Going to the barn in the winter is quite a task to get ready. Coveralls, hooded sweatshirt, I checklist everything, a hat, gloves, two pairs of gloves. That's what it requires to stay warm at the barn. But you know what? It's all worth it to keep our cows comfortable. To protect your animals, there's more required in the wintertime. Uh, the air is, is always got a lot of humid, uh, it's wet, it's damp. And so it takes bedding the animals more often. It's a daily job. It's every day. It's, and if there's snow in the way, you've got to move the snow out. I spent one day, I think, three hours shoveling snow out of feed bunks just so we could re-put fresh feed back in those bunks. When you're in barns in the wintertime, you are protecting your cattle from the extremes of the climate. You have to be very concerned about ventilation. You need cross ventilation, you need that air movement. You can tell when the humidity is wrong or the temperature is wrong. And if you don't figure it out pretty quick, your animals will tell you. There's so many things at night that you have to prepare for the next day. So finishing up and going through that mental checklist, do I have this door shut? Is this calf double checked? Is this tractor been checked? Has this door over here been shut? Have I made sure this water has been turned, the heater of the water has been turned on? All those things you prepare yep. for at night can really make your next day either really bad or really, really good. We can't control the external weather when it's gonna rain, when it's gonna snow, when it's going to be 95 degrees out, when it's going to be humid, we can't change that. But the things we can control, cleanliness, bedding, making sure things are sanitary in all parts of our operation, we do try very hard to take control of. We're really careful about cow comfort. It gives us great pleasure to go from barn to barn and to see animals that are really comfortable doing their thing in their space, uh, and it's because we, we provide it for them. This is a lot more than an occupation. It's a feeling that you're attached to the land, the people in your family, the cows, and their cow family. It's a proud heritage, a lot of emphasis on the present, and a promising future. That's what we've got here.